Hi everyone, this is Card Says. Let's now begin the November monthly and weekly tarot reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Consider tapping like and subscribe if any of the message here resonated with you, as this helps the video reach more people who may also need to hear this message. We have a playlist for the zodiac signs that might interest you located at the description box and pinned comment section. Ten of Cups Devil Eight of Wands Now, for your career in finance, you have the Eight of cups upright and this is basically just good news for you when it comes to career and finance it's like for some of you your family is getting the spotlight this november or will be on the spotlight this november for some of you the riches that you have is something that you your family is benefiting for some of you spirit is saying overwhelming happiness when it comes to your career and finance i see contracts being signed i see more than three contracts being signed for some of you it's like closing a deal and this allows a steady income for some of you it's like for some of you, this is commission based and a recurring um, monthly income, something of that nature. Now, for your love life, you have the devil, so there could be a sort of obsession when it comes to your love life that you would want to temper down, you would want to take control of. Because you truly have a control over this. And the spirit is saying over satisfaction. So there is truly an imbalance here. But you can easily get off of this imbalance once you change your mind and focus on what is truly important in your life. And spirit is even saying for some of you this is couples doing... Um, experimentation with regards to this um, intimacy and for your challenge uh, this month of November this could be things changing rapidly and you would want to just adapt to it like Capricorn people just like um, any other earth signs, they have the tendency to be slow moving and just um, receiving and appreciating details as you go along. But things will be moving real fast for you that some of the details may be left out. So that's the challenge for you. Allow yourself to move forward even if you don't have the exact details that you feel you may need spirit is saying you have enough of what you need you don't have to like have you know com complete everything you don't have to complete everything that that's the challenge for you you don't have to be a perfectionist this month so yeah i that is something that is relatable when we have that perfectionist trick it's really hard to like live out details but then spirit is saying you have to go with the flow you have to be at peace with whatever is it is that is happening move to the pace of what is driving you even so if you are success driven you have to move to that pace. We have a minor interruption, but let's move on to your reading.
for your weekly reading. You have the Eight of Swords reversed. The Lovers. Six of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Now for your week one, the energy of your first week of November is the Eight of Swords in reverse. And this is actually good news for you. It's like f you find this idea of how to free yourself from certain mental patterns or mental conditions that is not for your highest good or keeping you trapped, imprisoned, or stuck. You will allow yourself to be free on this first week. And on the second week, you have the lovers. And allow me to show you something magical between... Some, there is something magical within these two cards. As you can see, there is an entity between the two couples okay so this means for some of you whatever temptation it is that is in your love life this month of november you are overcoming it on the second week it's like you are giving yourself a choice of eventually freeing yourself from whatever it is that is stifling your love life This is you having a sound mind and heart regarding your love life. And for some of you, I'm being shown the crisscross, uh, I hope you can see it, the crisscross, the sign of the mountain. And this is... A reminder for me of like do not box yourself you know because those grid lines are like too boxed up micromanaging or like looking too much into details so we you would just want to let go of that free yourself of whatever it is that you are boxing your mind in in allow yourself to be more open-minded this month whether it's related to your love life or career finance relationship with family and friends self-care also it's like free yourself from that mental box that you put yourself in or you identify with this is an expansion for you as you will experience in the third week usually the six of swords is the card of like moving from spirit is saying debilitating um event and then you're moving towards something that is calmer a situation that is healthier for you but what i can see here for you on the third week this is something that is you freeing yourself from something that is mentally that is holding you down or like mentally mental prison even just like here uh, in the eight of swords this is a mental prison and you are freeing yourself from that this month of november most especially as you go along with your week now, on the fourth week, you have the Five of Cups. And this is a reminder of you not focusing on what you have lost. It's like as you go through these changes, you will have to let go of certain things. Don't allow this disappointments and losses to 
hinder you from moving forward. There is a forewarning of stagnation when it comes to the fourth week of November. So allow yourself to look at what is left and that is what you use to move forward or to build yourself up. The Spirit is even saying there is an opportunity for you to build yourself up from scratch. And this is a welcome change for you. And that could be the challenge for you as well with the Eight of Wands that we mentioned earlier. You will have to leave some details, some issues behind you so that it allows you to move forward to the right pacing that life wants to show you. And that's our monthly and weekly reading. Now we end our session here with a Astro Dice reading. You may now think of your question answerable by yes or no. You may pause the video if you need more time. And we clarify your answer, the answer that you will be getting. We clarify it using the tarot. And then, let's see what is your answer. You have Uranus. Let's see if you can focus that. Uranus energy. There. And Uranus is a no. Let's see why you are getting a no. Why is Capricorn getting a no? I feel that this is your card. Page of Wands is about getting started. For some of you, allow yourself to start with enthusiasm and whatever it is that you ask the question about. And for some of you, this is about a child who is actually very energetic and the spirit is saying again get with the pace so this is about pacing again it's about getting the right timing your actions has to synchronize with the times that's the lesson for you here it's for this month of November that's, that's something that you would want to be open about, synchronizing your actions with the times. And that's the message that has been channeled for you, Capricorn. I do hope this reading provided you with some clarity as you go along with healing and your soul's journey. Consider tapping like and subscribe to help the channel. Feel free to check the description box for more info. Keep safe. See you on our next video. Thank you for watching. This is Card Says.